Okay, so now we're on 4.3 uh, determinants and the Kramer's rule. So with determinants, uh, we're going to start with determinants of a 2 by 2. And determinant basically is you saying that you multiply diagonal, so it's A times D, and minus C times B. That's what a determinant basically is saying for a 2 by 2. Um, for the determinant of a 3 by 3, it gets a little more challenging. Um, notice how every single um, letter was crossed out and used. Well, here if I go down and then I go up, I'm missing a lot of letters that I didn't get to use. So when you have a determinant of a 3 by 3, what you need to do is you need to take the two first rows and you need to rewrite them out on the outside. So see how I wrote the, the two first rows on the outside? Now I can multiply down. So it's A, E, I. Uh, then it's plus B, F, G. Plus C, D, H. So it's all of that minus, then now we go up, um, G, E, C plus H, F, A plus IDB. So that will give you determinant for a 3x3 three three matrix. So this is a determinant for a 2x2, two two, which is very simple and easy. Remember, it's down minus up. Down, right, minus up is how you do it. So example 1, to find out a determinant of this, basically it's down 5 times 9 minus negative 15 times negative 3. So negative 15 times negative 3 is 45. 15 times 9 was 135. So 90 is your answer when you subtract it. A determinant of a 3 by 3, I need to take the first two columns and write them on the outside. So it's down minus up. So I need to multiply all three of those to get 30. Then I multiply all three of those to get negative 126. And I multiply all three of those to get negative 504, and I'm going to have to add them all together. Minus, I multiply all three of these right there, and I get 105. Multiply all three of those, and I get negative 126. Multiply all three of those, and I get uh, negative 144. So basically, I take this number in here, minus this number up in here, which is negative 165, and I end up with negative 675. So very key and very important. Yes, there is a determinant function on your calculator, but before I teach you how to do that, which that will be coming later, and when I show you a lot of examples, you need to prove to me first that you can do the determinant by hand. The sooner you guys all prove it to me you can do it by hand, the sooner I will teach you how to use your calculator to do it. But you need to show me first you know how to do it. Um, you can use determinants to find area of triangles by given three points. What that means is if you have a triangle on a coordinate plane is what we're talking about. You can connect all the, the points together, the three different points form a triangle. You can actually find the area of that um, by doing one half times the first point, the second point, the third point, and notice how there's just ones down the side. So what that means is though there's your points for the triangle, you just plug in the points straight across and it's one the whole way down the third column. So what I mean by that is you have the Bermuda Triangle is a large triangular region in the Atlantic Ocean. Many ships and airplanes have been lost in this region. The triangle is formed by imaginary lines connecting Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Miami. Use the terms to estimate the area of the Bermuda Triangle. So there's Miami at 0, 0, we'll just say. There's Puerto Rico at 900, uh, negative 518. And there is Bermuda at 983, 454. So what that means is, just plug them in. 0, 0, 900, negative 518, and 983, 454. And no, the order will not matter. It'll still give you the same answer. So what that means is, you need to do the determinant of this. right? So you do the determinant for this multiply it by a half. So notice how I took the first two and I wrote them on the outside, right? First two columns, wrote them on the outside. Now I'm going to find the determinant. This is actually much easier than you think. Down, when I multiply that, zero times all that is just zero. The second one, zero times all of that is just zero. So the last one, it's really just one times 900 times 454. So there's your first answer. Minus whatever is up, 
983 times negative 518 times 1 is negative 509,194. Then when you go up, that gives you a 0, and that gives you a 0. So really, what we have is that minus a negative that, which is like saying plus, and when you add them together, you get 917,794. Now the reason why it's plus or minus is if I had a negative number in here, I would use negative one half. But since it's a positive answer, I'm going to basically multiply my answer by a positive half. So there is the area of the Bermuda Triangle, 458,897. So there's your homework to get started on. That's your homework just to get started on. Okay, uh, we still have Kramer's rule to finish up, so when we come back, we will hit on Kramer's rule in 4.3.